What's up, Dorian? What are you doing? What time is it? Oh, that's my three-year-old, Cole Rat, Thorium, that wants to go outside and uh, doesn't really understand that there's things out there that could get him. I carry him around out there. That's what he wants. He wants to be walked around. He wants to go outside bad. What was that? Did you know I was talking about you, Thorium? You want to go outside? Huh? Who's a good boy? Aww. Was it bath time? Winky boy. You think you're going to wink your way out of here? It's chilly. Hmm. Oh, was a good boy. walk around. That's it. Oh, he's so happy. Oh. Oh, you're so happy. Alright. This is the washed out shot. I can tell. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go back inside. I got work to do, bud. Purr, purr, purr. Alright. Come on. <laughs> He's like, Come on. Well, I want to stay out here. Come on. Yeah, I'm just doing all. Good boy. Get back in there. I almost drove off of that once. So, I have so much shit for the backhoe back here. Hundreds of dollars worth of freaking shit. But, really, the only thing I need are these things. So, I get all this shit out of the truck. Oh. This propane is ridiculous. I use so much propane. I gotta order a big tank. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. Ugh. It's definitely a thing to take propane tanks when they're tall. They can fill them with they have stuff in them. But it doesn't seem like they can get it full if it has um, any propane in it. That was the only one that was completely empty, and that's the only one that they feels like they've completely filled. So, but getting them empty is so tricky. I guess I could just rotate them into a different spot that empties it, or just get a big freaking tank. So I talked to the uh, BLM guy and got a whole pretty much different story about what junipers are in his region. <laughs> he sure did not describe it as an invasive species or a weed or anything like this. I mean, basically, you can't, there's no, there's no logging of them. There's no getting at old big ones that are on BLM land. They cut down all the logs. They go into an area. They cut out all the little ones in the certain range. Not big ones, 
like fence post size, I guess. And he also was like, oh, those trees aren't any good for anything. I didn't want to get into, you know, and he's probably not thinking that I'm looking at doing epoxy stabilized countertops. So I didn't want to debate him, but I, I still want some juniper. He said there's some other count, some other zones or areas that I might be able to hit logs, but really I think the best uh, option is going to probably be putting a sign up on this board down here. <laughs> uh, wanted <laughs> big junipers for countertops and see if anybody has any they just want them out of the way i mean i drove around and there's freaking millions of them all over but it's all people's property so and apparently people want them all right i gotta chisel the crap out of the inside of this thing to try to get it to set down on there far enough to be able to pound this little thing in there fun times <sighs> thought i was recording then i wasn't i tried to push a button and the thing falls off its pedestal Ugh. this is like rammed earth on crack this thing is completely filled where i don't know if i was recording or not also forgive me if this is a repeat but it's hard to record with dirty hands and and the freaking light's blinding me so I can't even see the screen sometimes. The sun's just bright. It's super wonky the way I have the camera set. But... like going in between that thing it scares me like yeah yeah out here by myself and some hydraulic line does something and I get stuck I don't even think I have a phone on me well I'm thinking about Honestly, though. Oh, wait, here's another one. Huh. It's the same way. Maybe it's not that gummed up. Huh. All right. Well, that looks pretty good there. And my screwdriver. Eh better days. All right, now this thing here back 23 pin back 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 must be bottom. Can I get an indication from these? Yeah. Back is bottom. Now, I don't know what this, it's like some kind of something, it's not all metal, it's got like a rubber, so I watched a video and the dude squished it first. Huh. Yeah. Squishes. Well, <laughs> squishes on the end. Squished it. All right. I squished it in a manner that completely not. Oh, look, it rebounds. All right, so I gotta be able to get it in there. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun.
Okay. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there's really uh, huh, no way to hit it with a hammer. It's behind the other tooth. So that makes it extremely complicated. I think I'm going to be ruining tools today. I just got to get it started. I should ask for the jig. Okay, how do you hit something like that? <laughs> okay. What can I hit that with? Ooh. Ah. Okay. So, my broken uh, hitch from my retard move when I jackknifed the trailer and ruined my truck, the trailer, and this all at the same time. tell you this is easy it's actually not very easy at all there's nothing easy about it I need another hand oh maybe I can use leverage fix that took so much less time this is super not easy on a scale of 1 to 10 this is like up there the funny thing is, is this side lines up so much better than the other side it looks like you could just Slide in there, but nope. If I could just get it started, that would be so encouraging. Nope. Okay, I think I got it started, but I might have just unstarted it, taking those clips off. ready to cut it in half and put the half in there and then fill it full of epoxy and get to work because uh, I don't know who invents this shit but they go and put something like this together and this is the standard the guys at the counter do they go do you have a jig how are you gonna get those in there thanks for the help bro there has to be some kind of tool that just puts this goddamn thing in there in two seconds. I can't imagine huge corporations that buy these things new and have guys replacing these things. When you have to hammer something and the thing you have to hammer, there's something else right in the way. Like, ugh. Oh, maybe I ought to just take this one out. <laughs> yeah. Take the one on the end out. How the hell am I going to even do that? I don't have a pin. I just I have no idea how I'm going to get this done. It just does not go together. It's the case of the right tool. Uh, <laughs> if I could just get it started, that would be encouraging. It doesn't want to start. The vice grips aren't strong enough to be pounded on. And to put it in. Well, just because you have the parts doesn't mean you can put it together. Why didn't I ask about the tool? 
Is there some kind of tool to put those in there? That would have been a good question to ask. And it would have been a nice thing to just kind of throw out there, especially the level of, I didn't even know, I still don't know the name of this thing. So the way I described it to him should have been an indication that I'm not even going to have the tool to put them in. It's nine to five guys, you know, they're not, they're not really there thinking. They just hear, type, go get, put together, you know, they're not, they're not free thinkers. They're just there punching their nine to five job. They've got no stake in the company making more money. They've got no stake in my life being easier by being just simply told that there's a part that I could, or a tool that I could buy to help this. No, none of that. They're just there punching the clock. You know, they don't care about a thing until they're out of that business and they're on doing their thing. Like, they don't care that I'm here having a nightmare. Like, I could care less, right? And I don't care about that guy. But I gave his company money for parts, and it would have been nice to be let known that there's special tools. There has to be a special tool because this can't be the way to do this. There has to be a tool. So, yeah, I'm an idiot. I forgot to ask. But gee, it would have been nice to be upsold a goddamn tool. Oh, okay. I would say at this point, I'm calling this a nightmare. This is a nightmare. $36,000 tool that I can't make work because I got a $2 part. Actually, I don't even know. I spent almost $200 in John Deere. I left with five of these and uh 10 gallons of fluid oil and flu oh, hydraulic fluid so and all that was two almost 200 dollars. so i don't know how much these little parts are but they're definitely not worth thousands of dollars like the tobacco is in a working condition. I think the biggest problem I'm having right now is the fact that I only have two hands. Because I just can't get... Oh, 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 oh! I think I might have got it started. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Now my ears are ringing. Kids, put on your hearing protection before whacking on metal. Or else you'll be as deaf as me. Oh, cannon hasn't turned off yet. Now I'm ready. Oh man, what if I smack this and makes the camera fall? Last quarter inch is a pain in the butthole. Ah! Hit myself in the hand. It's not poking out of the other side yet, fully. are called pin oh boy the last eighth of an inch ouch it's almost all the way in on this side, but it's not poking out the other side, which is uh, kind of kind of weird. I'm probably moving it like a thousandth every time I hit it. Yeah, I know it's a carpenter's hammer. I don't have access to all my tools currently. 
But I mean, if you're complaining about the, the this, well, yeah, right? What kind of tool is this? Exactly. Not much more to hit. I'm gonna call that good. There's hardly any stick to have and my tools just suck. Actually, something like that's probably freaking almost, I mean, if it just like, this was filled and skinnier, like, had a thing right there. That's all, almost what you need. Because how I originally got it to go was something like that. I just got it in there and whap, and it started and yeah it's about as good as it gets nowadays